So those were the changes. Those were the changes. And, and of course, a lot of us stayed in Hamilton. We actually loved Hamilton. Growing up the way we did in Hamilton, it was a great place to live. And, and you know, uh, and a lot of us uh, have, had, had stayed here. Many moved away, but not to the extent that they do now. I mean, now, I mean, Hamilton has a lot to offer. If you look in the um, Globe and Mail or any of the real estate markets in, the sta in Toronto, you wonder why people would go there when, when Hamilton has affordable living, has good education, has good schools. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that, that uh, is not attractive as it was in the past. Uh, unless someone has a business in Hamilton where the kids can go into the business, there's a, 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 a need a desire to move onward. And, and that's a shame because Hamilton, if you look at the uh, ratio of births to deaths, it, it's, it, it's not gratifying and, and it's of some concern. So that's what I have to say on that. Um, Do you want to ask anything else, Billy? Continue. I'm curious, like you said, for you and your many of your friends, there was a desire to stay in Hamilton mm. because you recognized that life was good here. Well, it was, and it is. And what, like, what, what aspects? What, what, what makes life good here? Well, Jewish life, let's call, because it, it's a Jewish project. Jewish life, okay. Uh, the friends I grew up with: Jerry Sway, David Steinberg, Bill Morris, Bill Halperin. Um, I mean, we've all had our roots here. We've all had our Jewish roots here. We've all had our families here. We've all provided them with the best Jewish education we could. We're all proud of our Jewishness. We've all, I hope, in some way, been active in our community and gave back to our community. Um, we have a sense of identity here as, a, as, as people. Uh, we're not lost in a rabbit warren of uh, anonymity. I was in Toronto yesterday and I was on the 42nd floor of, of one of the downtown office buildings and I looked out the window and I saw 30 other similar buildings and probably the population of Hamilton was housed in those buildings and I felt like here you're in a you're in a, a beehive you're in a you're a, you're minuscule you, you can you can live your whole life and no one knows you and you know not, and you don't know anyone I mean Hamilton is still a small town Hamilton, you still have your friends. You still can go to places where you're, everyone knows everyone. It's fabulous. It's great. There's no strangers. Everyone knows everyone. If they don't know, they at least smile at you. It's not so bad. There's no rush. Life is a little easier. It's easier notwithstanding the blackberries. It's easier notwithstanding the blueberries. It's easier notwithstanding uh, everyone's walking around with a with a um, palm pilot. None of your kids live here, do they? No. Do you, uh, do you think they'll ever come back? No, but I'm happy they're having good lives where they are. And 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 I can't, as a parent, ask for anything more. My wife Liz can't ask for anything more. I mean, we're we're just we're blessed to have great kids, and they have great kids. So. That's what it's about. Um, I would like to see our community grow. Uh, I don't know how we can do it. Uh, the practice of law in Hamilton is wonderful. It's better, I think, than the practice of law in Toronto. 
because you're not in a rat race. People communicate in a friendly way. The collegiality of the Hamilton Bar of 800 people, when I started, by the way, it was 300 people, um, is, is close-knit. Everyone has respect and trust in everyone else. In Toronto, there's 27,000 lawyers. You never meet half the people. When I was called the bar, called to the bar in 1965, 250 graduates, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70, 250 graduates a year for Ontario. 1971, the new program came in, 1,250 a year. So you tell me how you add a thousand more lawyers into the mix over 40 years, there's 40,000 more lawyers than you would have had under the old system. So it becomes a doggy dog in Hamilton. It's not that. The, the, the physicians who practice medicine here, uh, the people in the business world, um, they all get along well, contrary to what you read in the paper over the last few months. Um, the, the, there is a um, good, solid community here. You know, I, I, what, what brought me great joy, and I actually wrote that memo about it that I think you published, was the, the meeting at the um, Shalom Village where the three rabbis were there and, and all the people were represented. Uh, it was, to me, a great joy because, to me, it showed that our Hamilton Jewish community is alive and well and thriving. And to me that's very important.